All right. Brian Powell of Iron Far here with Tom Owens before the 2021 UTMB. How are you, Tom? Yep, yeah, very good, Brian. Thanks. Yeah. The last time we chatted, you had finished uh, fourth at UTMB. Uh, how has that memory uh, come together over time? <laughs> well, it, it seems a long time ago now. Um, uh, but being back here in Chamonix, it brings back all the memories, actually. So, uh, yeah, lots happened in those two years. But, um, yeah, it's exciting to be back back here again. You had, uh, in the three sequence sequential years for UTMB, you'd run CCC, TDS, UTMB, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah it was quite a logical build-up. Yeah. I mean, they, they didn't all go to plan, but yeah. I learned a lot. And, yes, over the years, kind of been building up the, the distances. And, that, and now you're staying at the 170-kilometer distance. Why? <laughs> uh, no, I mean, I asked that in the sense you've had lots of success, not only at shorter ultra marathons, but short trail yeah. racing and fall racing. So what bring, what, you know, keeps yeah, you well, I guess it's been a couple of years. I certainly wouldn't have been ready last year. I don't think to do that distance. It's kind of, I needed, uh, yeah, to get, get myself together again. <laughs> um, and then I had this ankle surgery on the, 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 um, a ruptured perineal, uh, tendon in, um, December last year. Yeah. Uh, so I'm kind of coming back from that eight months on and actually the, the long, the kind of slower running is good for me. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it, it will still go, uh, quickly. I know, but at least over that kind of distance, you don't need to kind of throw yourself down every descent like mm -hmm. you would in a, in a sh shorter race. So I think, um, that might uh, play into my hands a little bit. And that was a planned surgery. It was, yeah, it was <clears throat> the tendon was bad for, um, three, three years or so. And it got to the point, uh, where it just, it needed, um, doing if I was to run again and, um, with winter and, uh, COVID it just, I just managed to get in, in a window when the hospital was, um, doing some operations and I'm really glad I did cause it, I mean, it was quite a big surgery in the end. And you had the, the knowledge of having gone through the same surgery on the other ankle some years before. <laughs> yeah. So um, <laughs> I'm a couple of tendons less now. Um, but yeah, the other side was in 2013. It wasn't such a big uh, um, uh, kind of rupture tear on that side. But yeah, it came back. I mean, it takes a long time to get confidence back. Um, so I'm kind of going through that process now. But it's, it's just great to be running. I mean, sounds like it was pretty good timing for you with having sort of a break and a natural break in the race schedule with COVID shutting a lot of things down. And, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, it couldn't have been a better time. And I've, um, been able to slowly kind of get back to it, learn to run again and, um, just getting better, you know, with every, every run, it's quite exciting. Oh. Uh, kind of from being really quite scared of running on the trails and downhill to, to, to kind of enjoying so it again. That probably doesn't mean, you means you're not overtrained heading into the race. No, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's been a really quite, um, I guess the last six weeks I've started to do, um, real hill runs mm -hmm. and, um, yeah, so, um, it's been a really condensed block. Um, but that could be you okay. You feel know. strong? Um, yeah, I feel okay. Actually, I feel quite good going uphill. Mm -hmm. Um, and as I say, it's just, um, the confidence on, on the descents, um, I feel quite well, well rested. So, which is, um, yeah, which is not to be understated or underrated, right? <laughs> yeah. But I mean, I, I'm just happy to be yeah. on the star line. That's my, my victory. And how long, like, how many decades have you been running? How many years? Like you have a base <laughs> that you can, you can well, pull from. Uh, I think. <laughs> This is probably the, this is the 13th or 14th year running for Solomon. Uh, so, uh, I've been running, um, yeah, since, uh, I mean, I started quite late, but yeah, I've been racing for, yeah, a long time now, probably, uh, yeah. uh, 20 years or so. I probably met you that first season you were running with Solomon. You and yeah, Andy over at Trans Rockies, that's right? right. 2008. Um, yeah, really happy memories and, you know, I'm just so happy to be running still but so the real and, and running well yeah, yeah running well and um i mean i'm probably not at my best at the minute but um you know uh i'm moving okay yeah do you think you'll uh kind of go out like what will you be your game plan going into this kind of yeah. with a much different training block than previously yeah i'll just have to be really canny and um sensible i just have so much respect for the distance i want to uh, want to get round. That's my number one objective. Mm -hmm. Uh, that would be so great if I can do that with everything. Uh, so yeah. And for sure, when I, I did, uh, the UTMB a couple of years ago, I, 
I started off reasonably conservative and it played into my hands. You know, there were a lot of um, kind of collapsed bodies on the trail and okay. um, battered quads um, early on. So, yeah, I'm going to just go on um, a sensible strategy. Could going out even more conservatively potentially even pay off more? Like the year that Ludovic yeah. Palmer, he had stomach problems early on and then won the race. Like. Yeah, that's incredible. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's, the, I guess, the thing I've learned with these longer ones is that you can you can really have, um, you know, you can come back so strong and get like a second wave and a third wave. And um, so, yeah, certainly not going to not going to give up. Keep moving. Nice. Well, I, I hope you can enjoy running out there and that you're all Thanks, fixed Frank. up. And yeah, good luck. Thanks very much. Cheers.